One day, the coyote was out hunting, and he couldn't find anything at first. And all of a sudden, the rabbit runs in front of him, and he takes off chasing it. He goes, and he goes, and that rabbit just runs ahead of him and just keeps going. So he can't catch it. He goes and goes and goes, and finally he just got so tired, he just stayed there, and he was sweating and panting and dirty, and he was just awful. And so he goes back, and he finally gets back to his den, and he goes in, and he sits down, and he says, I've got to get that rabbit. That rabbit looks so so healthy and so... Uh, just he just fat, good eating. I'll have to get him. So he sits there, and then it starts to rain. And he goes out and he looks me. Oh, I can't go out in that. So he gets back and he sits there. And the rain kept coming and coming. And just day after day, and he was sitting in there. He couldn't leave, and he was hungry and dirty, and and so. He all of, a, all of a sudden it stopped raining. I don't know how many days, but it was a long time. And the first thing he thought of was to get something to eat. And then he thought, well, I'll clean up first. So he went to get a drink of water, and he went to a little puddle. Of, and he got there, and he started drinking. And, and then he all of a sudden he looked into the water and he saw his reflection and he jumped back and he oh my gosh what was that he goes back and he looks in there there he sees a long nose and pointed ears and all fur was all in just in all directions and dirty and he says gosh that's ugly so he steps back and then he thinks i wish i was something else I don't want to be a coyote, he says. I always get in trouble, and I'm starving. I can't catch any rabbits, and I want to be something else. So he goes, and he starts praying, and he prays, and prays to the great animal spirit. All of a sudden, a voice comes out from the sky. Coyote, what do you want? And the coyote looks up. I want to be something else. I don't want to be a coyote. Well, what do you want to be? And then he sits there. Let me see. A grizzly bear. Boy, that's a... That grizzly bear, he's tough, he's big, and he's mean. Nobody gets in his way. So he says, animal spirit, I want to be a grizzly bear. So the animal spirit says, all right, gee, like a big smoke and dust like and all of a sudden he's walking down the trail boom 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 and he looks and then he looks down and he sees himself oh boy and he puts his arms up and he hits his chest i'm a grizzly bear and he said i'm mean i'm tough nobody get in my way and he'd hit the brush as he walk and he'd go down any little animal get in front of him, he'd hit him. And, ah, this is great. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to be. And then he walks up the, up a mountain trail, and he's going up, and he's happy. He says, oh, now I'm tough for me. And, and uh, all of a sudden, he gets on top of a cliff, and he's going, and he sees a, a little flower sticking out, and there's a bee going around and it goes into the flower and the, the grizzly bear said I wonder what's in that flower why does he go in there so he went over and he stuck his nose in there and the bee come out and stung him right on his nose and he jumped back and he lost his balance and he fell off the cliff and down and down he rolled and and the dust was flying, the rocks was flying, and he finally hits a tree. And there he laying there, just about gone. And he can't hardly move, and he looks up. 
Oh, animal spirit, animal spirit, help me. Again, this voice comes out. What do you want, coyote? He says, I don't want to be a grizzly bear. Make me something else. Well, what do you want to be? He says, oh, let me think. Uh, I want to be something that's different. Uh, I want to be a bee. They seem to have a lot of fun. And so the animal spirit says, all right. So he began the big smoke and dust, and then he finds himself going in the air. And he looks at me, oh my gosh, this is fun, this is great. And so he just has a lot of fun, and he's buzzing around, going around, and then he sees a tree, uh, sees a, a flower. So he goes over to the flower, and he looks in there, and... and uh, he, he's, he's a bee, but he still thinks like a coyote. He looks in there, there's nothing here for me. So he comes out, and then all of a sudden he goes to the ground. He said, this is where I belong. And as he was uh, sitting there, all of a sudden, here, here's a grizzly bear coming down the trail and s slapping the grass and the bushes, and, and he hits the grass where the bee is, and the bee goes flying, and... And there he lands, and he's just about gone. And the bee's laying there, and he looks up. Oh, animal spirit, help me. And so the animal spirit, now, what do you want? He says, I've helped you. And what do you want this time? He says, I can't be a bee. I want to be something else. So he says, well, what do you want to be? He says, oh, I want to be a cougar, king of the mountain. That's what I want to be. So again, the smoke and the dust, and there he finds himself on the rocks, walking very cautiously. And he looks down, and he sees those big claws, and, ah, oh boy, now I'm tough again. Now I'm, I'll show everybody, you know. So he starts going, and he's, he's enjoying himself. This is great. Nobody gets in my way, and I'm, I'm happy. He said, this is great. So as he goes along, all of a sudden, he, he sees a, a, a chipmunk, and it climbs up this tree. And so he takes off, and he realizes all of a sudden he can climb too, and he, boy, and he just climbs up right behind the chipmunk. He gets way up there and the chipmunk goes over to, on the limb and uh, the cougar starts to reach over, try to get him. And uh, the, uh, the uh, chipmunk jumped to another branch and the, and the coyote or the uh, cougar fell and goes down, hits the branches, boom, boom, boom. And he finally he lands at the bottom, and there he's laying there, just about gone. And he looks up, and he, animal spirit, animal spirit, help. And all of a sudden, the voice, coyote, I am getting tired of this. You, uh, I've you've got you all different kinds of things, but you're still not satisfied. And the coyote says, well... You do what you want, and you make me whatever you want, and I'll be happy. So the animal spirit says, all right. And all of a sudden, he finds himself in a, in a, in a, a green place where there's flowers, and he looks around, and he sees mice, and he goes after them, and he sees other coyotes, and he starts playing. And he doesn't know what he is. Oh, boy, he's fun. He said, this is what I want. I'm, I don't know what I am, but I'm, I'm glad that I'm happy now. So he goes chasing the mice and, and other coyotes, and he gets thirsty. So he goes over to take a drink. And when he gets to the puddle, he looks down. What does he see? Long nose pointed ears, but his hair is all 
nice and he looks down. He says, ah, oh, I'm a coyote again. He says, ah, this is what I want. So it goes to show you that sometimes you're better off than you think you are. <laughs>